Oh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is game number five of tonight's a PUBG Community Custom Games, the final game of the evening. My name is Joris. Our things have been crazy. Huge thank you to Warp as well as Derek Jin for their fantastic subs and it, of course that also means they don't just get one entry in tonight's giveaway they will get five regeneration 77 coming in with the prime sub as well as we begin with game number five it is urban grounds it's a ripped in finish that much is obvious from the circle right here which means the majority of the 100 players that are in this game are going to be crashing my computer all dropping in the same place oh my god this is gonna be hell we're on board with the gator chases, but frankly, it doesn't matter because if I zoom out, we're on board with everybody. Look at this. This is Ripton, ladies and gentlemen, and they've only got Tommy guns and Winchesters. That's it. Now, this is what a city drop looks like. Ooh, a PlayStation 5. Those are rare. Um, right. Lots and lots of people in Ripton. That does not come as a surprise, but we have lots of people outside of Ripton as well uh let me see things could get very interesting for protogenia who had a really good um couple of solo moments in the last game but i fear they need to be a little bit careful because they might get a couple of solo moments here as well twitch gimpy spot stelzor i mean that's stelzor good luck it's tommy guns and win 94 only remember you can jump off of here because you have got the parachutes available. Please use it. Okay. A lot of close quarters fighting is likely to happen. But even though you see people so close on the map, you have to ask yourself, how close are they really? For example, there's 5G. And there's two members of comms, comms, comms. I could take a while for that fight to materialize, guys. So very, very deceptive when you take a look at... Uh, at the map on Ripton. It's not always like that. Keep that in mind. Outside of the city, the gas pump is. Very chilled out. Not looking to do anything crazy. Although I have to say the first zone is coming in very quick. Riker. Hello, Riker. Of C4 year later is the furthest out of anybody. And I would genuinely be worried about having enough meds to make it into zone at that point. Comms, comms, comms. Looking like they've decided to start shooting. That is not Tiggleton. That is Tiggle not. Appreciate that name. Got Team Dam in action as well. Where are Team Dam? Can you guys see them? We hunt for a Team Dam here. That's a Team Dam. It looks like that was an isolated 1v1 fight. Fine. Still wondering if Proto Genea is going to come into contact with any of these guys here. These are the Snake Gamers. I love that the petrol station is called Guzzler, by the way. Absolutely lovely. Shots have been fired towards Proto Genea. Come fail with me has been taken out. So uh, they know someone's here. I'm not sure if they know it's a single player yet, but I'm, I suspect they'll find out at some point soon. Big fight going on here. That's C4 year later. And the roof hoppers going on in the southern side of Ripton. What's happening there? Ah, we've got on blue marker and the roof hoppers with C4 year later third partying it essentially. 37 bullets in the Tommy gun of DMJK. He's already got one kill to his name, but he's going to need a little bit more ammo shortly. Choosing to back away just for now. problem with shooting there, and I can understand the reason why Scorpy didn't, is the chain link fence is going to end up eating quite a lot of that. And I'd be a little bit worried. We've got on blue marker and Ukrainian Roth Oop, exiting that uh, vehicle just a little bit quickly to not take any damage. Gerbo must surely have spotted them. They have. 51 damage done on the Winnie. Choosing not to go up to the roof of the silo. Although the rest of his team are. And that actually gives them a really nice high vantage point. Pepito is going to move very, very far away. And move into the 
for the warehouse. The rest of On Blue Marker looking like they have gone down. I think that makes a lot of sense. It means they only have to deal with C4 later now. So On Blue Marker no longer uh, a part of this fight, shall we say. Protogenia, what are you doing? Protogenia finally goes down. Does he have a self-revive? He has an EMT kit and a self-revive. Wait, does he? Oh my god. Snake gamers came close to having their entire squad wiped by him there. It doesn't look like Protogenia is going to be able to survive this, unfortunately. That's it. What an incredible solo effort, though, for the second game in a row. Look at this. The entire game is lagging because we know how ridiculous it is. That everybody is descending on Ripton at the same time. Let's do a quick move out to take a look at comms, comms, comms. Berlin. I want to say Berlin Rage, but it's really, it's Berliner Sago. Has been spotted by 5G. And two members up here on the second floor. Managed to get a decent amount of hit points off of him. Keithong is the player closest. This is what he's seeing through the smoke. He's waiting to see if Berlin is going to be on the left side. He's actually staying properly in the middle of that. Flashbangs out into the middle. That should hit. Again, looking for the edge. Isn't going to see it. And Berlin sneaks around the back while they're busy shooting. Oh, hello. The rest of comms, comms, comms are up here as well. So he's reunited with his team. This looks just fine. Keithong might have been spotted crossing the road there, but Berlin choosing not to engage from range. A little bit too far to guarantee the Tommy gun will get the knock. Everybody's still continuing to move into Ripton. My map is struggling to comprehend what the hell is going on right now. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Deploying him, deploying him! Okay, that was a little bit of an awkward accident for JJ. Oh my goodness, really? All of these people in Ripton. Oh, we are struggling, boys and girls. I'm going to need a better graphics card. Can someone get me a couple of 4090s? Can we talk about getting a couple of 4090s for the stream, boys? That was the self-revive into insta re -knock. Poor Blakut. That's going to be it. The gas pumpers now did so well at the beginning of the game. Had a decent position. Down to three with zero kills. They need to think of a way to salvage this. Phase two, 50 seconds away from completing. Looking like they're going to make their way into the big wall. The problem is the roof hoppers are out here in force. 50 bullets in that Tommy gun. It's a lot. But it's also against four different people. What on earth is unnamed going to do? Are they even moving in? They're kind of just happy to chill here by the looks of things. They're going to keep moving on to the outside of the wall. And eventually, when they get further out here, they will have Blame Dell, who are taking on On Blue Marker. That's Trapito eliminated. He ran away from that earlier fight, remember? Uh, a lot of his teammates got killed. He did well, to be fair, to get to a safe spot, but not so safe once Blame Dell came along. unnamed so many decisions to make i feel like i feel like the roof hoppers no longer know he's here and i think that makes it okay i genuinely think that makes it okay come the chicken blimps into zone next zone very much centering in on the east side of ripton and that means that again up north this is insane but with so many people on top of each other it's really hard to work out 
how close they are to actually fighting. So let's take a look. Those are the Bandage Kings. This is comms, comms, comms. They're actually nowhere close to each other. So they're fine. What about over here? Ooh, Keithong and Tiggle Knot are in the same building. This could be interesting. On the same floor as well. We should see a bit of action here. Oh, hang on. Tiggle not seen him. Let's go, Keithong. Tiggle not definitely advantage there. Keithong down to below half health now. Tiggle not disengaging. So tricky, these fights. And towards the end of the game, it's going to get horrendous when the blue zone is taken into consideration as well. The roof hop is now coming up against the C4 Yaleda. Schnitzel Gatto. Down very early on, but Blown Fuse should be in a position to come in and help him get rid of Never mind. Wow. Okay, Scorpy says, ah, ah. That got smashed quick. But we had hopes and dreams. Not anymore, you don't. C4 you later are going to struggle with their current strategy moving into phase five, phase six. A little bit too slow on the uptake for the blue zone. Not doing too much damage at the moment, but it will later on. Roof hoppers now. What would absolve them of this is if they manage to get a couple of kills en route into zone where they can say to themselves, look, clearly our slower approach is justified. Look how many people we've killed. They managed to get one so far. Scorpy is knocked. I'm not sure that means they can stay this late forever, though. And they have to go around the buildings as well. It's not that clear. Unnamed behind. It's the gas pumpers who got him there. This is what happens. A beautiful headshot. Blown fuse gets taken out by Unnamed as well. That was excellent. Really good recoil control on the Tommy gun. Tommy gun doesn't have the greatest amount of recoil, but still controlling it to get those headshots in place. So, so important. Nearly getting Torres and Kel as well. But a timely first aid will allow him to... Okay, what's happening here? 100 MS is actually... Sh oh my god! We're shooting fish in a barrel. Are we jumping? Are we going down? No. Ooh, very close to knocking him there. 100 MS basically has the perfect headshot position. And comms, comms, comms are very much in a dominant position right here against Dell's driving school. Peace down and Smorks are the two players left. And they very much have their backs against the wall right now. Slugs fall for life, struggling. It's a damage per second here in phase four. And it's only about to get worse. And they're trying to push in against the other half of Tom's comms, comms too. Tickle not is stopping them from coming out from blue. In fact, he holds the critical position. As long as he stays alive... The rest of these guys are going to seriously struggle, but he's now moving back, trading a little bit of space for time. Which is interesting, because I thought he could have just held here for quite a while. Slugs 4 for life up behind this pillar, trying to figure out what to do. Imagine if someone was just there gatekeeping them and had a grenade or two. That would be fine right about now. Oh, sneaky shots from above, I believe. That is Snake Gamers saying thank you very much. You have high ground advantage over some of the other teams. We've got high ground advantage over you. We're halfway through, ladies and gentlemen. Game number five of the night. I just want to say we've got a poll up on Twitch. Uh, we want you to vote for your favorite game mode of the evening. We want to know what you like and we'll play it again next time, perhaps, or certainly keep it on regular rotation. So we had Donuts for Dessert, Cross Your Heart, Limited Edition Tago, Blame Dell and Urban Grounds. I want to know which of our game modes tonight I want to know which you enjoyed the most. Still teams trying to get into Ripton. We have a possible situation here with Team Dam. Wait, how close are they? Oh, they're underneath the chicken blimps. Okay, that's fine. 
Big fight going on. Four fine fresh fish for you. Are actually on the same level as the roof hoppers. There's a self revive going on there. No, they do not allow it to happen. Roof hoppers eliminated. Four fine fresh fish. Very much still in the game. They are right next to you, by the way, and very much above Blame Dell. Who, as you can see, are more or less on the lower levels here. Team Dam, I think, want to come in and third party. Oh. Blood XP. Basically having a beautiful amount of high ground vision. Whoa, hello! Wasn't expecting that. Thank you very much, Pablo Destroyer. Special delivery. And the chicken blimps will finish them. I don't think mine the... Oh, he had a self-revive. That is critical. I can't believe you managed to get that. Very, very well played. Their piece down is down. Smork still alive with comms, comms, comms. Trying to prevent these guys from getting into circle at all. The bullet hoarder. Off the gator chases. Oh, God. On the same level as some members of Jorarar. Very much trying to avoid detection. Wait, who's doing the chasing here? Now he's chasing Merb. Not sure what's happening, but he's decided that jumping down is risky. He hasn't heard behind him! That's Merb down. The rest of Jorara are going to know now. Logic Sculptor is coming down very, very quickly indeed. Merb gets finished off. It's actually Klotz who manages to finish with the Winnie. Looking for the Bullet Hoarder. Gets one knock. Needs a second. Bullet hit even. Gets it. Does the Bullet Hoarder have a self-revive? Uh-oh. I don't think he does. And he's bleeding so, so much right now. He's got the EMT kit, but it's not going to matter. Logic Sculptor will go away with that kill. Comms, comms, comms. Now the next team in front of Team Jorah Ra. 43 alive and 15 teams still left here. We've got Ripton on the uh, first and second floor of the next building. Trying to stop comms, comms, comms from making their way in. Tickle, no Tickle Not has also been taken out of the game now. He's had a great game so far. It's been really fun watching his point of view. But his time here will come to an end. Chicken blimps now unfairly ganging up, you might say, on Team Dam. Although, Spring has done well to not only stay out of trouble, but when he got knocked, he had a self-AED, which means that JJ cannot rely on being the sole person pinning them down. <gasps> and gets knocked as well from Levcan. Now, I think he's got a self-AED, so he should be able to continue. He has indeed, so he manages to get away. But that breathes new life into Team Dam's effort in this game. Man, Ripton finishes are insane. Absolutely insane. Bandage Kings versus... Who even is in this building with them? It's so hard to tell. Comms, comms, comms are downstairs. The Bandage Kings are upstairs. Yeah, they're not fighting each other anytime soon. It's so hard to work out who's fighting who. The Gator Chasers and Dutch Knight are moving in in the sneakiest way possible. I feel like Ripton are really close to them. So close. And Draker is literally right inside this door. Dutch Knight just wants to get past and go into zone though, I think. Definitely playing the sneaky approach. Francois Pignon, as opposed to Francois Pigeon, which is what I thought that said for a second. Fires a couple of bullets Ripton's way. Looks like Urban Ground seems to be a fairly heavy favorite amongst people in Twitch chat, based on what we see in the poll so far. <gasps> Stike233 is a blue chip detector. Oh my, oh my god. Ripped into a horrible place to have a blue chip detector. That's like saying, okay guys, we know there are five people here somewhere. Maybe upstairs, maybe downstairs, we don't even know. That is rough. Like what on earth are you supposed to do with that information? The blue chip detector is basically just adding to your anxiety at this point. Like, what even is... <laughs> it's like, it's the paranoia device. Doesn't really tell you where anyone is because they could be on any level.
on red marker, more or less on top of, or underneath, I should say, on yellow marker. All four of them are up above, as you can see. Thirty-four players and thirteen teams left alive as the game finally gets a bit smoother. There were so, so many players inside Ripton. It was insane. I mean, really fun, but also insane. Dutch Knight gets a kill onto Andreka, who, if we remember correctly, was inside the doorway just before. So continuing to be very sneaky. Slugs 4 for life, trying to make their way up, but comms, 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 preventing them from doing so. It's Pikachu might have something to say about that. Never mind, Gimpy. Getting the knock. Not quite the flush. Going for the heal first, but he should be able to get the flush. Does he realize he's on the left? Oh, he's going, hang on, where did he go? Oh, hang on, there's another player there. And that's a self-revive behind him, isn't it? Oh! <gasps> It's Pikachu got back up. Used a med kit as well. What a turnaround from It's Pikachu. Ripton have ripped them a new one. Are we going to get the second? We're not. 100 MS manages to get the trade, but still, that is incredible. Some of the more active teams now on the rooftop. Bandage Kings taking on a Blame Dell, who are very much. Towards the edge of the circle still. Even an eagle eye view isn't that helpful here. On yellow marker appears to be the team who have the most height. I don't think anyone's on top of here. That would be mad. So you've got on yellow marker with Tiburu playing the spoiler position. Jaro Ra and Vankin Co. Not actually on the roof there. Still inside that building. Yug Jiki of the gas pumpers very much in. And needing to run across open space, that's problematic for him. On red marker, Oxfiles, Latan, and Stike. We're going to have a little bit of company in Tilburo in just a second. Remember, it cannot be seen yet, but Stike might be able to get seen shortly. Footsteps heard. That's all they need. They hear each other. Tiburo down to 22 HP. Is he going to race to come out? Oh, so close. He's decided not to risk it. Not to follow. Very, very close indeed. 23 alive now. A next circle centering in on a building. So this is very much multi-level fighting going on. One member of Blame Dell is down. Several members of the Chicken Blimps are down. In fact, they are out of the game. Still 10 teams remaining, though. Le Poopa is unlikely to get revived by Ninja. And he's bleeding out a little bit too quickly for that, unfortunately. This is rough. Oh, Vankingo using a drag and drop. Oh, no, it might have just been jumping off the building because he was on one of the roofs, wasn't he? Now into the car park of the building, literally in the middle of zone. This is a center zone as you can get, ladies and gentlemen. And I don't know. Is there a, is there another entrance to this car park? There is. So you've got that and you've got this as well. Van Kengo has to watch out. Slugs 4 for life and Ripton now going at it. Hammer and tongs. Suki actually getting two different players damaged, but unfortunately the damage was spread too thin. So that's Ripton out. Blame Dell alive with six kills and four players very much on the periphery here. Slugs four for life now struggling. Tucci, come on. Is out courtesy of Team Damn Bounty. He's up to seven kills. Wasn't he a solo? Like for the last five, six minutes of the game or something? Bounty is taking names. Team's up to 11 kills. He's got seven of those. Phase 8. Oh, Phase 9 is going to center in on the car park. This could genuinely end up being a heal fest. Here comes Boostick. 
Can he get onto that ledge with his parachute? I think he can. I think he can, you know, he does. Hardcore parkour indeed. Oh, what a headshot. He spots 100 MS through the window. Was not expecting that. Absolutely beautiful shot. Do we have a self AED? Yes, we do. 100 MS will get a second shot. Rusty Razor getting finished off by a teammate there. I'm sure there are questions being asked, but three members of Blame Dell are still alive and they've got seven on the board. Bounty taken down. I think he's got a self-revive, but might get time to use it actually because on yellow marker have surprised these two members of on red marker. So on yellow marker are the team with the blue marker. On red marker are the team with the green. That's yellow on blue. Red on green. I'm sure you guys are very familiar with this. 100 MS has revived and has chosen to take a parachute down to the car park and blame Della there. Did Blame Della not see him? He's right there. He's literally right there. Smoke's coming out now. This is awkward. Op 4 gets absolutely facial by that. And now we've got CK9. Is he going to be able to finish up 100 MS? Op 4 gets taken down by the blue zone grenade. Oh! 100 MS! What a play! Flashbang followed by a push in. He wins the 1v2. Comms, comms, comms. Are up to 15 kills total and 100 MS are trying to stay in this game. The only player left for comms, comms, comms. Blame Dell is one player. On yellow marker have four. Kamushek with the Prime Sub. Thank you very, very much for that Prime Sub and best of luck to you, of course, in the giveaway after the stream ends. We will be pulling those 10 names out of the hat later on this evening and all subs get an extra five entries. So you get six entries rather than just the one. However, this is now 4v1v1. As amazing as comms, comms, comms have been, how many kills have they got? They've got 15 kills and 100 MS of 8. That's great, but it's phase nine. And this is going to end up being a heal fest. And I feel like Boostick TTV is the play who's closest to the middle. Levcan goes down. Where's Blame Dell? Forky. He gets taken down as well. He is going to be in third place for sure. 100 MS in the basement struggling. How quickly is he going to heal? Needs to heal right now. He doesn't get it. Does he get it? He actually gets it. On yellow marker. No, he's down. Self-revive coming in. Yellow marker still has one up. I think one SR can't do it. He can't. That's it. On yellow marker with four players wins with one left. Ridiculous way to end the game. But of course, it's Destin. We could have predicted this. Taburo with five kills. Boostick with two. Levcan with two. Little Jibs with one. And Mapachi play as well. Fantastic. Well, well done. And fantastically well played to everybody in this final game mode.